The three surviving members of the Enola Gay flight crew returned to Tinian yesterday and received a salute by helicopter over North Field. The best of the best that America had to offer, it succeeded. And he saved literally millions of lives. So, with no further ado, it is my great pleasure and honor to introduce to all of you General Paul W. Tibbetts, Jr. General Tibbetts' voice was clear, and for being 89 years of age, it was remarkably strong, filled with the experience of a lifetime of giving orders. I trust those guys. Uh, they trusted me. That's why we got along so damn well, so we didn't have any trouble. Tibbetts took the crowd through the training process for his mission, a coordinated effort of about 1,800 men that occurred in isolation. It melded, welded, or whatever word you'd like to use, that group of men together to do one job. And that was to put a bomb on a target. After Tibbetts' remarks, he stood back and gave one more order. I repeat, gentlemen, please unveil my bomb pit. <laughs> Sixty years ago, the crew's flight to Hiroshima, Japan, changed the course of history. President Truman's decision to use the atom bomb on Japan has been debated over the years, but while attention and public opinion have gone through a variety of stages over the last six decades, the crew's feeling of accomplishment has never wavered. And don't look for a lot of emotion from the general. I am not an emotional person. You can ask anybody you want. Uh, emotion to me is something that's in the mind, and I control my mind pretty well. Morse Jepsen was the weapons specialist on board the Enola Gay. Now you had the you actually had the authority to abort the mission if the electronics were I did. Were yes, uh, I, during the flight over, uh, every I'm not sure how often, but maybe every half an hour, uh, I would run a test of all the components of the bomb, and starting with the batteries, and uh, finishing with the uh, uh, the radars. And if they did not function, which was a, would be a threat to the uh, mission. Then I was to tell Captain Parsons, who would make the decision, uh, to uh, take it back home. And I was told that the the, uh, the bomb had cost over two billion dollars, and at that time in 1945, that was a very lot of money. So don't waste it. As the three remaining crew members gazed at bomb pit number one, General Tibbets described his emotion and seeing the pits for the first time since the war ended. Uh, I can see the shape, I see the thing there, and I understand, and particularly with this cover on it now. Uh, I can't complain over the years because nobody really understood what was going on and why this thing should not be filled with trash. Uh, but anyway, it has, it has a historical significance for this area. This is where it started. I got a